Noir is about long stares. Noir is about grit and drama and shadows and the eyes that dame across my office. And this is Velvet Noir. Hello, nerd and nerd adjacent. I'm Dan, and we're going to try something a little bit different. Let's talk about a LARP adventure I went on recently. But first, what is LARP? LARP is an acronym that stands for Live Action Roleplay. It is a group of people pretending together under agreed upon circumstances, or a giant adult game of make-believe. If you want to learn more about why I define LARP like this, I made an entire video about it. So if you want to see a bit more, see the card above. So, who makes this LARP anyhow? Velvet Noir is an emergent LARP produced by Entropic Endeavors. But, what is emergent LARP? Emergent LARP pulls from other styles of LARP. It is consent-based, staff and NPC light, what you see is what you get, high character agency, with lead cast to inspire and support. There's also usually a competition aspect, such as a side metagame. My ticket was covered in exchange for journalistic reporting, but everything out of my mouth is my own opinion, which means I maintain editorial control. But who is this game for? If you've ever felt othered in your life, this LARP is for you. It's that simple. But you don't go through LARP as yourself. You live through a character. That's who you get to experience this LARP adventure through. I lived this history-adjacent 1920s LARP through the eyes of Avery Obsidian Ends, my character, a gender-fluid, non-binary street kid turned singer who is always hunting for knowledge and family. So, how do you get a character? Boba Noir's character creation is a bit different from what you see in a lot of other LARPs. There's no mechanic sheets with point values, and it's not written for you. You, as a player, fill out a survey answering some questions, and then you get approval and some possible tweaks, but your character is yours to create in the most freeform style. There are some options and other decisions that need to be made that are mechanical, such as your archetype for the territory's metagame, but generally speaking, as long as your character concept fits the style and genre and you're not doing anything too out there, you can have it. There's an entire guide that helps you write your character, as well as the lore of the world being able to help influence how your character fits into it. You just mentioned a Territories metagame? What's that? One of the ways that Velvet Noir is different than other LARPs is that there's an integrated resource mechanic called the Territories metagame. You can earn favors and resources through in-game roleplay, and also by playing the Territories metagame, which influences both roleplay and mechanics on the game board. It's really well integrated, and even if you choose not to participate in playing the Territories metagame, your character's actions and game still affect it. Okay, I'm interested. How is the game organized internally? This game is organized into factions and then possibly crews if you'd like to participate in the Territories metagame. Your factions are the people who you do some of the workshops with. Your faction is your family. Think of it kind of, if you will, like a house at a wizarding school. You support each other and your actions can have repercussions to those connected to you. There are five different factions in Velvet Noir. Los Cuervos, the Fenwan Jin, the Mishpaha, the Root, and the Civilians. A crew is composed of people that you choose to participate in the Territories metagame with. And the people that you choose to be in a crew with can be made out of folks from any faction. My character, Obsidian, is a member of the faction, The Roots, and a member of a crew called The Band. Okay, so you're sold. Do you want to go? Where do you have to go? Well, first you have to get yourself to Pennsylvania. Once you get to this beautiful site, you'll find a bed space and get casually dressed as your character in preparation for the workshops. These workshops are mandatory and it's where you go to meet other players outside of their characters, get a feel for what other characters are about, flesh out your own characters, make connections, and go over things like combat and safety mechanics. Workshops 
are very important and very, very helpful. The workshops are your chance for you to actually get to use the mechanics hands-on that you will see in play before the LARP starts. Keep walking around in your characters' bodies. Now, stop, make eye contact with somebody. The last time you saw them, they were leaning over a dead body. Velvet Noir uses a smattering of safety and calibration mechanics found throughout the LARP community, as well as some newer ones, including the look down, OK check in, listen here, lay off, a version of Largo, and cut, all of which are linked down below if you'd like to read more on those mechanics. Combat in Velvet Noir is fast, dirty, and violent in game while remaining safe and clear out of game. Unnarrated fights are dramatic, slow, and ensure that every hit tells a story. You're encouraged to pre-negotiate combat, and these approaches of pre-negotiation are covered in the workshops. In terms of escalation, a boffer weapon, often clubs, pipes, and baseball bats, will beat unarmed, and a cap gun will beat boffer weapons. Yes, this game has cap guns. Fifteen seconds. Oh, yeah. At the end of the workshop, you will receive your character's soul. Their soul is comprised up to three cards and their character metagame archetype written on the back. They come with three themes for you as a player to answer about your character. Love, other, and darkness. Which corresponds to the questions, what do you love? Why are you other? And what is your darkness? Your soul cards can be used to show pieces of your soul to another player, usually during moments of high drama, deep emotion, or vicious truth. So your standard soul cards usually appear like this. This is in fact one of their soul cards. They also have soul cards that look like this. You know, part of the journey. The light is your shield against the dark, dark, dark. The darkness is the mechanic that you can choose to interact with in two separate ways, via a ritualized or freeform scene. No character goes into the darkness and comes out unscathed. That's all I'm gonna say about the darkness. That's something you want to experience. It's going to be enjoyable. It's one of my personal favorite parts of the game, but I'll leave that for your personal exploration. And of course, just like any other LARP, we have the love and, well, the drama. To move on. Earl, shut your fucking mouth! Uh, Fee, what the fuck? Oh. What, why would you punch me? Is this something that Come needs on. to happen on the front porch while everyone's inside? It's my fucking house! And a diamond car with platinum wheels. Hadi yaddy 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 yaddy. holds its own secrets, separate from our own, its own victories, defeats. The farm is a place where we can be ourselves, our beautifully imperfect selves. I'm not going to be false with y'all. I didn't think I was going to like this game, not because I didn't think it was going to be a great game, but because I didn't think it was going to be my style. I'm not a big fan of historic or history-adjacent LARPs. I feel like there's not a place for me in them, but 
I was so very wrong with this one. If you've ever felt other than in your life, this LARP is for you. And if you're interested in going to the next event of Velvet Noir, Game 2, Through a Through Chill, a chill. Dark Dark Dark. is October 11th through 13th at Camp Golden Pond in Pennsylvania. Links to get tickets are also below. Thank you so much to Entropic Endeavors for inviting me out as a journalist to come and document this LARP. Thank you so much to Sam, Erica, Amy, and Dana for building this beautiful framework. Thank you to all the writers, Brenna, Victoria, Erica, Samara, and Shaheen, who built these beautiful factions for us to play and explore in. Thank you to the faction leads for being there for us both in and out of game. Thank you to the photographers whose links will be down below who took fantastic, amazing pictures. And special thanks to all of my Internet Treehouse patrons and Kofi tippers that help make these kind of trips possible. I also have to thank all of the players of game one for making this experience so fantastic and being phenomenal. I am just words. In the box below are all the links for Entropic Endeavors where you can find out more about coming and playing in the world of Velvet Noir. Also down there is the link to the written text version of this being hosted on Erica's blog, The Space Between Stories, which is amazing and you should read it. You can find links to my Patreon, Kofi, and all the other social medias I'm on down below. And of course, thank you for watching. I'm required as a person who exists on YouTube to ask you to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I put things on the internet. Also, to give a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. I promised I would be slightly less self-deprecating in this video, so please? Sometimes I wonder why I spend the lonely night dreaming of a song.